All right, today we're working on the Ram 3500 Laramie Longhorn Edition. All right, we're getting started on the EGR Delete. Only thing I've taken off so far is the little plastic cover. It covers the EGR and the cooler. So, let's get started. All right. First thing we're gonna do is uh, take off the battery terminals, disconnect the battery. <clears throat> just had these off the other day when I changed my exhaust I already did that part of the delete I did my I did a four inch from the turbo back to the existing muffler and tailpipe so I didn't do all the way back but I did four inch stainless so Didn't have time to do it all in one day. All right, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter here. Start removing the, the EGR off the top of the intake manifold. find here it's like seven sixteenths yeah the garage is a bit of a mess I moved my Mustang out and uh, right now this bay is just like a catch-all for some of the ongoing projects I have all right now we're gonna get to this other band clamp. All right, so now we got the the band clamp loose enough. Now we can use it our ratchet wrench and remove it just like the other side. Next, it looks like we have this crossover tube. There, it's bolted down below. So we'll try to get to that. And right now we're doing the EGR delete. So far, we removed the EGR and we're getting ready to take off the crossover. All right, just cleaned the, uh, the EGR intake manifold connection there. I scraped it and wiped it down. Uh, so the next step is put off your block off plates. Make sure that you got your O-rings in there seated all the way in. And that way you get a good seal. Got all four bolts in, hand tight. Now I'm gonna uh, tighten them up with the Allen key.
All right, next step I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the, the butterfly valve that's in there that controls your, uh, your airflow. Uh, just take off that band clamp and I believe there's four bolts on there that hold it on. All right, this is the next piece going on that eliminates that butterfly valve that's in the intake air. Right down in there. I've already loosened up the band clamp. I got three of the four bolts out. The five sixteenths. The other one, I need to use a ratchet on it. The socket and extension. Because it's kind of tucked up in that stuff well we got to start to it got some of the stuff off got a few of the bolts off uh, I'm just running out of time for today I'll get started back on it tomorrow morning. Hey guys, guys. As you can see, we got started back uh, on the EGR delete removal. Um, yesterday we got that part of it done. I'll bolt it back up. Uh, this morning I got started before I started filming. Got the uh, cold air intake out of the way. Got some bolts uh, disconnected on the cooler and some of the heat shields out of the way. So uh, I got some stuff uh, sprayed down with some PB blaster so we don't have to fight it later. All right, so I just got the the back two bolts from the top of the manifold that connect your uh, cooler, and they were 15 millimeter. They're kind of a uh, tight to get to. Not a whole lot of room back there, but uh, now this should be all freed up to remove this. Just gotta lift this up off these studs. Alright, now that we got the cooler and the cooler mounting bracket out of the way, now we can get this last piece. And uh, I believe this is the last piece to take off. And then we'll put on our block off plates and our new mounting bracket hose and start putting it all back together. All right, now that we got everything out of the way, wipe that off real good. And then uh, we're going to install our lock off plates. <clears throat> you want to reuse the, uh, the 15 millimeter nuts that came off of that because uh, they're not supplied with the kit. Here's the two block off plates. This one here goes in the front. And this one here with the port where you could uh, add your exhaust gas temperature sensor if you wanted to at a later point. So. And got 
the original 15 millimeter nut that goes back in right here. All right, so now we got the mounting bracket in place, we got the cold air intake back on. Only thing left. I got this uh, little vent piece to go back in and I got to hook up the batteries and we'll be ready to start her up and see if we got any kind of air codes or anything like that. Pipe and muffler on it, but I did a, did a DPF delete as well. Four inch stainless from the uh, turbo back to the, the factory muffler, but it still sounds a lot better. All right, that's it 2012 Ram 3500 EGR delete. And my delete kit was from Sinister Diesel.